Morning chaps, this is uh, Mr. Harbin here. We're going to do a little demonstration of a rectangular isometric projection. So the first thing we need to make sure is that our grid is landscape and we can attach our piece of A4 paper to that grid with a piece of tape and then we're going to draw uh, three cuboids, all of which will have the same angles and measurements. So the first cuboid is one, two, three, four, fifty millimetres high, it's 10 millimetres deep, it's 40 millimetres wide. And then we can just make the top piece 40 millimetres wide, 50 high, 10 deep, 10 deep. Notice chaps how I'm moving the paper to make things easier for myself. So there are the, there's the first cuboid completed. Okay chaps, so we've now got our three cuboids, each one is the same measurement, it's 40 wide, it's 10 deep, it's 50 high, and now we're actually ready to start drawing each of the letters. So the first letter is the letter H, and we remember that it's made up of two sticks of 10 millimeter material. So there are the two sticks going in, and that dimension projects, or measurement projects across here, and then we can make the back of that stick down here, and then we need to put in the cross piece, which we remember is 20 millimetres down. So we go one, two, 20 mil, draw across, make a 10 mil gap and draw a second piece across, project that over here, and then finish off the letter H. And then remember to rub out the bits that we can't see, which in this instance will be those two pieces. The letter F, nice and straightforward, looks like an upside down L. So we can just draw the upside down L and then we measure from the sheet 13 millimetres down, not 10, 13 mil, and then another 10 millimetres away from there. And then this part of the F sticks out by 20 millimetres, 10 mil up, and then it projects back by 10 millimetres and then comes back to here and then we just finish off by rubbing out that section there. Um, and the finally, chaps, the letter T, we've got a 10 millimeter lump across here. I'm pressing hard in this demonstration, boys, so that you can see the pencil. You need to press nice and lightly so you can rub it out and we can't see the line that you've just rubbed out. So if I drop a line down the middle here, I then need to measure five millimeters either side of it so that I can make the centre stick 10 millimetres deep, like so. I then project 10 millimetres away and then project that up there, rub out the centre line and that little piece of line. And then obviously I can remove the, uh, the rest of the cuboid and that's now ready to be fine lined and render it, rendered, but that's, uh, that's for another lesson, chaps, okay? There's HFT completed.